So why is Richardson, Texas one of the most in-demand communities in all of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex? Because it is, it's where I am right now. It's where I live and work all the time. <laughs> People moving from out of the area and within the area seem to always be talking about Richardson, Texas. Now, we're going to get into a lot of details as to why that is the case. But before we get into tons of specifics, just know Richardson is really the very first city that is not Dallas, just to the north of Dallas. Very first thing. It's technically not a suburb, but there's probably not a lot of time we need to dedicate to that here. Um, it's a city just north of Dallas with lots and lots of positive things going on. Uh, it's really split right down the middle by 75 or the Central Expressway. Turns into I-45 to the south going all the way south through Houston and to the coast and Galveston at the beach. Uh, but here in the Dallas area that is 75 Central Expressway which runs straight through downtown Dallas right up north and splits Richardson really in two primary parts. There's three parts really to Richardson, but West Richardson, East Richardson, and then an area called Buckingham, I mean, I'm sorry, an area called Breckenridge. Uh, there used to be a small city called Buckingham that was enclosed by Richardson, another fun fact. But Breckenridge is sort of a panhandle of Richardson to the Northeast, which is pushing out towards Plano and Murphy and some other areas. So it's a newer quadrant of Richardson out there where you've got some 90s and newer built homes, whereas East and West Richardson um, West Richardson specifically, you've got homes as early as the mid to late 50s and then pretty much everything since then. East Richardson, you're seeing a lot more of the late 60s, early 70s and since. Uh, the development of Texas Instruments, big corporate campus, they're really allowed for the growth of Richardson as a big community. Kind of the first major um, job provider in the area. You also had Collins Radio, which is really, really well known in the early advent of a lot of what happened with radio technology and, and actually with NASA and space exploration and some really cool things there. So Richardson has been called the telecom corridor. That's been part of the personality over the years that Richardson has sort of grown up. Um, it's definitely still part. We've got data centers and major telecom and, uh, and media companies based here, including some gaming companies and things like that. As far as higher education, which drives a lot of that, we've got the University of Texas at Dallas, which I must confess, early on, I thought was just another extension campus of the University of Texas. And since uh, living here for a long, long time, have realized that it is one of the most impressive institutions of its kind, really in all of North America. It's called the MIT of the South, and I used to think that was sort of a joke until I got to know the campus and their SAT scores are through the roof, and the campus life is, is really, really well regarded. So that drives a lot of the jobs in the area, which are uh, uh, plentiful. Um, we've got a massive Blue Cross Blue Shield campus here. We've got a huge State Farm campus here. You've got everything from Fossil Watches to Collins Radio, which we already talked about, and lots of other big banking, telecom, um, and, and some really exciting industries. We've also got uh, probably more than our fair share of, of restaurants and food and beverage. We have a really diverse community in almost every way that you could define that. Age, income level, ethnicity, all sorts of things. So because of that, we have a really diverse sort of social setting with restaurants and entertainment. So we've got great sushi restaurants, tons of really good burger joints, got some good old comfort food, and then we've got some really new chains. we got sandwich shops everywhere, tons of chicken joints. You really have a little bit of everything bridging the gap of, you know, barbecue Texas Southern, but also great um, ethnic food from really all over the world. Big restaurants, little restaurants, hole in the walls, corporate chains. Really, we've got it all. The West Side is probably known a little bit more uh, for the large spread neighborhoods. East Side had definitely has that with residential, but also has a little bit more of kind of the mid-size industrial office warehouse feel. Um, and then that Breckenridge area is really almost exclusively residential. There is actually a street over there called Telecom where there's several large telecom companies. 
um, and some research facilities and things that are over there. But really that area bleeds out into a massive area called Breckenridge Park, which is soccer fields and baseball and kids sports and things like that. But bringing you back to main, kind of the main area of Richardson, the whole city is really known for having done a great job with parks and recreation. Trails, hiking and biking, city parks, dog parks, really everything that is here. And the investment has been made in those land purchases and maintenance for the sake of really outdoor living. That has helped us draw in a lot of corporations from other parts of the country and really other parts of the world. So that tax revenue, that corporate driving force has really allowed us to have some really cool mixed use retail and entertainment. There's some big ones. Um, City Line is one that's really kind of at the north edge of Richardson. State Farm built a huge campus there. And now that's expanding beyond State Farm into several new office towers. As of 2022, when we're recording this, multiple more office towers are gonna be built on really what is about the last remaining vacant land of any size in the city of Richardson. So with that has come some incredible ground level restaurants, retail shopping, kind of urban feel parks and sitting areas and water features and grass, you know, kind of recreational areas. So more of that will be really, really welcome. People are loving it already. And that's brought in sort of a younger apartment, uh, office, recreational, restaurant, shopping, grocery. There's a Whole Foods right there, that whole vibe. Back to the west side, we also have some really cool down home traditional feel to the city. Inside of one of probably two or three of the most popular neighborhoods in all of North Texas, you've got Canyon Creek, Prairie Creek, and Cottonwood Creek, which are all sort of on the northwest edge of Richardson. Within those neighborhoods, you have a, um, a community center, recreational retail center called Two Creeks, which has some really cool kind of down home ice cream shop, candy shop, burger joint, patio restaurants, as well as some uh, residential retail in there. But it's fully enclosed by that neighborhood, which is really, really cool. It's also right next to Canyon Creek Country Club, which has a golf course, tennis courts, uh, country club setting, and creates some really nice green space for those neighborhoods to wrap around as well. As you get over to the west side of Richardson, there's one major road, Coit, which really kind of chops Richardson to the east and Dallas to the west. The feel of those neighborhoods doesn't change much at all but that's where you see that boundary. So you've got Dallas to the west, Dallas to the south. To the east, you've got a few different things. You've got Garland, Saxe, uh, Murphy, Plano, and as you get to the north, uh, you got a couple things as well. Some Plano, um, and you almost, almost touch Allen, but really you get to Plano and then Allen. So um, location-wise, it's an incredible place to live, and that's one of the huge reasons people love it. South to Dallas, north to Frisco and McKinney and all that excitement, east out towards the lakes in East Texas, west back towards kind of far north Dallas and towards the airport and Fort Worth. Uh, so really, you can get a lot of places really, really quickly. Um, hospitals, we've got new hospitals that are just being built. We've got some hospitals that have been here for a while. So really, you've got location, you've got healthcare, you've got academics, you've got jobs, you've got parks and recreation. Plus, there's so much more I could continue to tell you about, and I will. Check out the other videos on this channel, though. We've done videos on really almost every element of Richardson, but wanted to get you an updated one here. There's incredible new projects happening in what we really refer to as downtown Richardson. It's not what you would traditionally think of as a downtown kind of urban center with office towers. It's a very small area just east of that uh, Central Expressway off the of Beltline, which we call Maine over there, which historically has not been a big employment center, but is being completely revitalized right now as we record this in 2022 to be a really cool walkable downtown area. Uh, it's called the core or the core district. Um, and that's going to have um, really walkable only streets, meaning no vehicle traffic uh, with ground floor, ground floor shopping, uh, living space above, great restaurants. Richardson also has an unfair share of DART rail. That's Dallas area rapid transit. Uh, the, the railway that can, it's, kind of, it's not a subway, but it kind of is. That can take you all the way downtown, all the way through Richardson, up and beyond. And because we have multiple DART stops on the east side of town, we have multiple mixed use developments 
surrounding this. So we already talked about City Line. We've got East Side at 75 in Campbell. We have Brick Row uh, just east of 75 in Spring Valley. Uh, and some new things coming, like this core district. Um, so many of those you can you can park and jump on Dart and go down into a go to a Mavericks game or go downtown for work. You could even extend north and then you can jump onto another train and make it all the way over to the airport and other recreational areas as well. So there are dozens and dozens of things I could tell you about. One of my favorite things about Richardson are the festivals and the city events that are run here. So you've got the Wildflower Festival, which is probably the most well-known one for our area. Um, it is an incredibly fun event that's right around the Eisman Center, which is our performing arts center, which most cities of this size don't wouldn't even have. And we have a very, very nice one uh, funded by one of our incredible citizens. But the Wildflower Festival is a music festival slash kind of local artisan craft get together, as well as food and beverage and entertainment and tends to raise a lot of money for charity and be a great corporate sponsorship opportunity. And it's an event where you've got bands that were once the biggest bands in America and are now sort of uh, maybe one rung down that ladder, but are still tremendously fun uh, to get out and see, as well as some local music and some, some kind of regional Texas touring bands. So that one's really fun. We also have our Santa's Village, which is right by the um, community center, city library, uh, and, and civic center. That's a really, really fun, really sort of boutique type event where there's an entire village built Every year, Santa Claus hangs out with the kids. There's kind of fire trucks and Christmas lights and treats and crafts and fake snow and all that jazz. Um, a really, 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 really awesome community to be a part of. Cottonwood Arts Festival is another one that kind of almost points more towards uh, super artistic, boutique jazz type stuff. There's another music festival that um, brings a lot of people to the area, including crazy things like accordion festivals and stuff like that. Richardson's also an area that is really well regarded for a large public school district. Richardson Independent School District um, covers um, almost the whole city. The, the county line does change on the northern edge where we go into Collin County, and those are Plano schools, which are also really well regarded. But for the bulk of Richardson, and actually Richardson Independent School District, covers a couple of parts of Dallas that aren't even in the city of Richardson. But within the city, you've got Berkner High School on the east, Richardson High School on the west, and then Pierce High School to the northwest. Um, competitive with sports, academically strong, uh, and again, generally very well thought of with incredible magnet programs and uh, a very involved school board and parent involvement in the community schools. Um, historically, really, really well thought of, and a lot of people are moving here for that reason. So you got higher education uh, with the University of Texas at Dallas. You've got some community colleges just outside of the area, community colleges just outside of the city. So even in the things that aren't in the city, there's a really quick access to those things just outside. And that includes things like professional sports down in Dallas, minor league baseball up in Frisco, hockey, cricket stadiums in Allen. I mean, all, all sorts of really cool things in the area. Just beyond Richardson, there's additional tremendous amounts of redevelopment of outdoor mall spaces, corporate campuses, recreational facilities. So being in Richardson is really great, but also being in Richardson means you can be in some other really high demand locations within a matter of minutes. So, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to downtown, depending on the time of day, 45 at the most and the worst traffic. Um, and, and the same is true for bumping up to McKinney and Frisco. Uh, and then east and west, you've got great options as well. I mentioned earlier the lakes, but there is recreation uh, and natural stuff pretty much in every direction. You've got state parks, city parks. Uh, you've got two lakes that are great for boating, sailing, fishing, things like that. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the State Fair of Texas just to the south in Dallas. And I could go on and on and on. Richardson's located in an area where you can really experience the vast majority of, if not all of, what DFW and North Texas have to offer you. So... There are dozens of other videos on this channel about Richardson, and I promise you we will be making more. So if you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments. If we didn't answer everything or get you the information you wanted, let us know in the comments. I'm sure we'll make more videos. And then check out the videos we've already made, bounce around the channel. If you're interested in other areas, we've got hundreds of videos on other areas around DFW as well. Check them out. Let us know what you think. I'll talk to you on the next one.